fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? Today, I thought it'd be fun to do a quick unboxing. I went to my PO box yesterday and I saw that I had a package from Tribe Beauty Box. They're a bi-monthly beauty box and a lot of times they feature indie brands. So I just thought it'd be fun to go ahead and unbox it together with y'all and just see what is happening in what I would assume is the August box. So let's just jump on in. So here's what it looks like on the inside. I'm not gonna go through the paper just yet. I'm just gonna kind of pull as I go. So the first thing I see here is from Julep Beauty and it is the Hint of Pink Transforming Lip Oil. So that looks interesting. It says that it's a moisturizing lip oil that reacts to your unique pH, uh, wrapping your pout in the perfect shade of sheer pink. It says it's um, vegan, clean beauty, paraben free, cruelty free. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It just looks like a clear gloss, but normally you can tell when a clear gloss is going to be one that shifts pink because the applicator inside has turned fully pink. So I already have red lipstick on. I don't really want to put gloss over it, but I'll put it on my uh, hand just so we can see the change. Here's what it looks like right away. We'll just go ahead and give it a minute. It says that retails for 22 US dollars. So, I mean, you can kind of see it has turned into that like hint of pink and it just looks like a really nice, pretty sheer pink. So I think I'm really gonna like that as long as I like the texture. And then the next thing I'm pulling out of the box that's on top is a dry brush. Kind of looks like a flip flop. I actually do have a dry brush from Eco Tools that I use every once in a while. This one says W and E, make yourself a priority. And it has like these like plastic pieces as well. So that's interesting. Let me see, All right, it says, it retails for 52 US dollars. I feel like that's ridiculous. Like I would never pay $52 for this. Like even the one that I have already, like I said, I think I've paid like five, maybe $10 for. It says that it's a dry brush made with natural beech wood, combining rubber nodules and natural bristles to help stimulate the lymphatic system. It encourages the removal of toxins while exfoliating and smoothing your skin use weekly. So, I mean, it's nice to have. I just, I can't believe that the brand is charging that much for it, especially because already doing this, I don't know if you guys can see that, but bristles are coming out. Still gonna try it though, still gonna try it. So the next thing in the box, which is kind of just meh to me, is the makeup drop. It says it's the original silicone beauty applicator. And let's see, it says it retails for $20. I guess it's saying to use this for skincare like sunless tanner, lotions, masks. I guess you could try that. I had a silicone applicator and I tried it with makeup and it was just a mess and I feel like that was so long ago and I feel like nobody uses them anymore because they weren't even good in the first place. I don't know, I feel like I could just use my hands for, for skincare. So for me, I'm probably just gonna end up passing this along, maybe throwing in a giveaway or something or I don't know if anybody wants to try it that I know, I'll give it to them but I just feel like silicone applicators are like, so like 2019. I think that was the year they were really big. Next is the Marabella eyeshadow primer. And it says that this retails for $20. It says it's a, it's a waterproof eyeshadow primer, which I'd be really curious to try. Um, it says it's an innovative creamy formula, easy to apply, sheer translucent base, um, available in one neutral shade that's suitable for even the most sensitive eyes. Yeah, just like a very light sheer kind of thing. I'd be curious to try that, especially because that's how the Milani eyeshadow primer is and I really, really love it. Plus the waterproof claims, I'd be super curious. So definitely gonna give that a chance. So the last thing I see in the box here is an eyeshadow palette. This is the B Bella Cosmetics Life in Pastel palette. It says it retails for $12, so let's see, I'm curious. Like, is this gonna be like a super pretty pastel palette? Because I have not seen this. Oh, that's really cute. All the vibes. Oh no, okay. So it is really cute. I'll show you guys. Very pretty, but you would know I'm not a pressed glitter kind of girl. I don't use palettes that have pressed glitters. I mean, the pressed glitter in here looks gorgeous but it's just not something I want to put on my eyes personally, but it does look like a really cute palette. So maybe I'll just end up doing like a little giveaway with this. Cause like I said, I just, I don't see myself using it and I try to pass along anything 
extra that I have. So if you would like to win this palette and you want to try out a silicone sponge, then all you have to do is comment down below your favorite color. I'll just do it as simple as that. Be subscribed, all that good stuff. So I'm pretty sure I just did the math in my head, but I believe that this box has a total value of $126. But I feel like so much of that value is from the dry brush. And I just don't think that a dry brush is worth that much. So it's a little hard to say that it truly is that value. Sometimes I get comments whenever I do things, especially when it's PR and it's more negative or when I don't like things as much and it's like, oh, you're ungrateful or you're this or you're that. And I just wanna like come from the view of if I was paying for this every month, would I be happy with the box? And just giving you guys my honest perspective. I feel like there are cute things in here and there's been a few things that I've received in the boxes through having them in PR that I've liked, but I don't know that I've been like super like wowed by a box. Like this is just like, oh, like I'm excited about the eyeshadow primer, excited about the lip gloss. I will try out the dry brush, but I don't know that it's worth the 20 something dollars that the box costs. I went on the website to double check the price of this month's box and their website's currently down. I went through their Instagram and could not find the price either. So I apologize for not including this in the video. I think that it's just a little bit above $20 a month. Um, but yes, so if you have been subscribed to Tribe Beauty Box, I'd be so curious to hear your thoughts and if the boxes were worth it for you. But that's gonna be everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.